Hello everyone, Ryan here. So, if you're new to my channel, which by the way, I thank you for subscribing and even bothering to check out some of the weirdness on my channel. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, every Monday on my channel, I do the same, which I call Music Monday. All it is is just I talk about different bands that uh, either I, I used to listen to on a regular basis or bands that I still listen to on a regular basis. So, and uh, so this week I decided to talk about Godsmack. And I don't know if, how, exactly how many people would consider themselves like diehard Godsmack fans or. <clears throat> I mean. I guess for a time I, I was definitely a really big fan of Godsmack of their music and I mean because I discovered their first album completely by by chance I guess uh, I believe I had mentioned before in other Music Mondays in which that uh, when I was a teenager I used to go to a record store and it seems kind of funny that when I talk about that you know because even like in the past when I've mentioned record stores to like my niece or nephew who are teenagers by the way uh and i've told them that you know when i was their age when i was a teenager i actually had to go to a record store if i wanted to purchase new music and it is it's, it's pretty interesting to see the reactions on, on their faces like they got these weird looks like you know i mean i guess because they've never they've never been to a record store at all in in their entire lives, uh, so I mean, which I don't, I don't know. I guess that's kind of a sad thing. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I mean, so Gossip was one of those bands that I discovered at my local record store back when it was still open, and when I was a teenager. <laughs> and their first album, their first debut album on a on a major label, because I know. They self-produced their first album and self-released it, I believe. And then eventually, I guess, they sold enough copies on their own. They got signed to a major record label. And it was re-released. Uh, and I guess they remixed it, remastered it. And then, uh, I want to say, included at least one new song or something. But I had purchased their debut album, which is self-titled. And I purchased it on cassette tape. That's right, cassette tape. Uh, and I listened to it on my Walkman, my Sony Walkman. <laughs> listened to it uh, so many times. I remember because uh, pretty much for most of the time when I was in high school, uh, I walked home a lot. Sometimes I had to walk to school in the mornings, you know, or to school, or, or if not to school, then definitely I walk home. After school, and it was a long, it was a long walk, uh, but I mean, it was definitely a great exercise. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, but so yeah, I, I listened to Gus Max's debut album over and over. It was one of the albums that I would constantly listen to while walking home. And well, you know, I definitely enjoyed. It. I mean, I liked. I like that it had a, a certain raw quality. Uh, I liked like the the kind of like crisp, like overly distorted, like chunky kind of riffs, like it's palm muted riffs. Uh, if you don't, if you're not a musician, you don't know about the term palm mute. It's actually when a, when a guitar player will instead of allowing the uh, say like a chord to ring out, especially a power chord. Instead of allowing a power chord to just ring out, what they'll do is, uh, before plucking it, before plucking a chord, they'll kind of gently place their palm over the strings and then pluck it. And, and then depending on how hard or how light you pluck the strings, that ultimately determines, you know, the, the kind of sound, the tone and, so yeah, otherwise, I mean, I don't know how else to describe it other than just like deep, chunky, heavy kind of riffs. <laughs> uh, 
but yeah, Godsmack was one of those bands, one of the first that I heard who would employ this technique, you know, on pretty much almost every one of their songs. Um, and then, of course, when their second album came out, which their second album, I believe, was titled Awake. Yeah. It's been a while since I listened to it. Uh, on their second album, they really went with a much more heavier, overall heavier sound. And uh, I mean, I believe they even tuned the guitars down even more. And yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of their second album. <laughs> and not that I didn't like their first one, but their second one is definitely my favorite, my favorite Godsmack album. And, you know, and, and also, too, I mean, Soli's vocals, uh, the lead singer, Soli Erna, he's always had, I've always liked that he's had that deep, raspy kind of voice. And uh, I guess you could say that uh, they do have a lot in common with another band, another awesome band, Alice in Chains. In fact, that's where they got the band name from, Godsmack, because there's an Alice in Chains song called Godsmack. <laughs> I guess it's kind of like one of the lesser known, or rather, not quite so popular Alice in Chains songs. And so, I mean, that's where they got the name from, Godsmack. And they even openly admitted it in different interviews and whatnot. And, um, so, and, and then uh, I remember I've actually seen them in concert uh, only once, or maybe twice. I don't remember. I think, yeah, twice, but the second time I saw them, it was part of, like, this big festival. They didn't play for more than, uh, like, 25 minutes or something. Because there's a lot of other bands. But the first time I saw them was uh, pretty much, I, I believe, honestly, when they were still touring in support of their first album. Yeah. Their second album hadn't quite come out yet. It was like at least a year, a half, I don't know, like six months before their second album came out. And I remember because it was the first concert I went to where uh, I got to stand really close to the stage. I mean, really so close, in fact, that, you know, the, the, I could I could interact with, the, with almost every band member. <laughs> and... It was really great. It was really an awesome experience for me. Uh, I remember it was also one of the first times that uh, I joined in the mosh pit. And, and then at one point I fell down, but then somebody helped me back up. But then as soon as I got back up, the next thing I knew, someone else like lifted me up or something, or I don't know, two or three other people. Because <laughs> there was this thing going on where people were choosing different people to like crowd surf. And if you don't know what crowd surfing is, that's just when, you know, they pick you up at a concert and the entire crowd just picks up your entire body and passes you along, passes you around the entire crowd, you know, <laughs> hence the term crowd surf, crowd surfing. <laughs> but yeah, so then they passed me along until I, I got all the way to the front and that's where, you know, eventually I stayed because I was so close. I was already kind of close. But I got even closer. <laughs> and so, yeah, pretty much for the rest of the show, I was standing just, you know, really like no more than a couple of feet away from the singer. So, so they are not. <laughs> and I think the singer actually noticed, too, when I crowd surfed to the front. And he, like, gave me a big thumbs up when he saw me. And then, like, periodically throughout the rest of the show, he kept giving me a thumbs up and... Uh, like at one point I flashed him the metal horn sign and he flashed the same back and it was really great, really awesome, really awesome experience for me. I mean, you know, at the time I was like barely 16, I think, 16, almost 17. And yeah, that was like my first real raw concert experience. <laughs> and now I know a lot of people like to hate on Godsmack. Well, people like to hate on everything nowadays. <laughs> but, I mean, when it comes to bands and 
I mean, granted, I know, obviously I'm aware Godsmack is not the heaviest metal band or high rock band or alternative rock, whatever band you want to call them. <laughs> I know that, but still, for me, you know, growing up you know, as a teenager and you know, I was ex- learning to get used to all this different kind of, all these different kinds of metal music. and They were one of the bands that I listened to a lot. And they really helped shape me as a as a music fan, but also as a musician myself. And it really, you know, helped me to determine, you know, what what kind of music I I wanted to play. Ultimately, so yeah, you know, I, I'm forever grateful for that. You know, because I mean, it's not just Gosmack, but other bands too. Bands like Gosmack, Metallica, Iron Maiden, Pantera, Tool. Uh, you know so many other bands that helped uh, shape my musical taste uh, and helped shaped, helped to shape my skills as a musician. And, you know, so I'm forever grateful for that, you know, regardless of whether or not these bands will ever be aware of it. Uh, now, of course, I'm aware of Gossamack. They do have a new album out, which is titled When Legends Rise. I've yet to listen to all of it. I've listened to so far four songs off that album and I gotta say I I don't really like it (laughs) I don't like it that much it's I don't know but it's not fair I mean once I listen to the entire album I want to do a review of it uh, right on this channel because I do also do album reviews so but yeah it's so far for me just based on the four songs I've heard it's, it's way too polished like you know, but I respect the fact that, you know, that's what they wanted to do. That's the kind of music they wanted to make at this point in their career. Uh, you know, they got that right, so. But yeah, I don't know, it's, yeah. let me know if you're a fan of Gossamack, what are some of your song, favorite songs by them. Uh, you know, or even, hey, even if you don't like Gossamack, that's fair enough. <laughs> and if you want to, tell me, you know, why you don't like them, or, you know, it's. You know, but nothing too hateful. I mean, you know, that's, you know, come on. It's like, you know, I don't leave a lot of negative comments on on other people's stuff for, <laughs> I mean, you know, I, you know, obviously, you know, to each his own. So, so yeah, that'll do it uh, this week's, this week's uh, Music Monday. And, uh, Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. As always, till next time, don't forget, keep it real, keep on rocking, and peace.